And what kind of tanks do the Russians have these days? Well, they have now put T-90s into the field. What we've been dealing, what we were dealing with at the beginning of this were a lot of tanks that had been sitting in uh, essentially the equivalent of a used car lot. In other words, 7,000 old tanks. And the Russian troops were told when they went into Ukraine, if there's anything wrong with this thing, don't try to fix it. If, uh, if it's damaged in combat, just get out, walk away from it. We'll give you another tank. Hmm. They, they really did not bank on this major war. They thought there would be a negotiated settlement, remember? Oh. Oh, oh, so oh. now what has happened is that uh, the T-90s are finding their way into all the Russian units, T-80s and T-90s. The T-90 is the best available that they've got, which is uh, in most ways equal to or as good as uh, an M1. Is or it? A, yeah, it is. And the advantage that the Russians have over us in the tank department is not so much in armament. Our armament is excellent. Our guns are excellent. Our problem is the engine. We mm. have a turbine engine in the tank. And as most of your viewers understand, turbine engines were designed for use by jet aircraft. Mm. Well, we put a turbine engine back in the late 70s, early 80s into the M1 series tanks. Mm. And the M, the turbine engine problem is that as long as it sits still and you've got the engine running, it burns as much as it does running when you're moving. Mm. In other words, whether you're moving or sitting still, you've got about seven and a half to eight hours of fuel. That's it. So you tend to shut the tank down. Now, they built since uh, 1990 an auxiliary uh, power pack. They They want to turn on while you're sitting still. But the problem with all of that is that you've got to shut that down, and then it takes a little a little time to crank up the turbine engine. Mm -hmm. So you have a very, very high fuel usage rate with the tanks, far mm -hmm. higher than the Russians. And then secondly, the turbine engine burns at 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, boy. It emits a thermal signature that can be viewed from low Earth orbiting satellites at 70 or 80,000 feet. You're talking about our M1s. Yes, and the Russians don't have turbine engines? No, they're using the traditional diesel engines. And they also have thermal blankets, which they put over their engine compartments in order to conceal the uh, thermal signature. So our thermal signature stands out brilliantly. Very the, easy to find us. From the sky. Yes, all the way up into space. And uh, that also makes you a, a brilliant target for anybody who wants to destroy you.